Hi everyone, welcome to Water Tanks with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie, you're not. And this is a triple shot of Tank Destroyer action. This first one features Lone Dog. Now the description might say two, but there's going to be three battles in this video. This one features Lone Dog. Now this is from patch 19.1. Lone Dog is on a mission. He's on the final mission for the T-55A. And I can tell you what, when I've completed my last mission for the T-55A, I was high-fiving all over the place. Now Lone Dog from Rats Clan is in the SU 12254. 12254, that's the, that's the Russian tank destroyer that, I don't think I've got this one yet. Uh, it's, it leads to the object 268. I've got the 263. Anyway, Lone Dog looking towards the central part of the map on highway. Looking towards that AMX 1390 by the looks of it. The AU251 in the middle trying to get some, some spotting done for his team. And Lone Dog doesn't look like he's got a shot on that 1390. He does have a shot on the Super Pershing though. So he aims, aims, aims. Puts a beautiful shot in for 427 hit points. 122 millimeter gun, 440 average damage, 258 penetration. And that's with standard rounds. 340 with the heat rounds. He's already put two shots into that Super Pershing. He'd love to get another one in. He does for 330. 330 seems a bit low, average 440, but uh, one more should do the job. Picks up his first kill, and that's 1,251 damage. What's he need to do? He needs to do 6,000, and as a secondary condition, he needs to get at least three kills. This is the last mission for tank destroyers for the uh, T-55A, like I said before. That's the T-9 German tank that looks like a Russian tank, and that's a pretty groovy tank as well. Now... He's showing good map awareness here, Lone Dog from Rats Clan. You can see that um, the city's pretty much covered. They're winning three zip. Three medium tanks. And he's just taking a look at that charioteer. Doesn't quite land that shot. Doesn't quite aim in time before he went behind that little uh, piece of dirt. Looking towards the Panzer Mutz and the Panther 8.8. .8. Two premium tanks up there. Moves in a, moving into a position where they're both in his line of sight. They, one of them was just out of his view range. Looking, looking, looking. Doesn't get a sh Doesn't manage a shot. Auto aims on the Waffentrager Alf Panzer 4, the tier 9 German tank destroyer. That's a better roll. 487 hit points of damage into the German tank destroyer. Auto aims again, ch changes his mind, lands another shot for 395. That's 2,133, so he's, he's certainly getting there. Needs to do 6,000. Is it six? It is. It needs to do 6,000 damage. Gets a shot into the PZ58, but the premium German medium tank. It's up to two and a half fires. Clutch and misses the charioteer. Charity was getting the hell out of dodge when he did that. He's in he's not in a bad position here. He's in a spot here where he can get shots towards a few different parts of the map. Certainly um, I was a little bit wrong when I said that looks like the, the city's covered, and that's what he's looking at now. They're winning 5-1. They've comprehensive they sh oh, look you'd think they'd win that western flank, no worries. But um, looking at the, the city, looks like it's in a little bit of trouble. Just three friendly tanks in the city. Looks like there's about five or six enemy tanks as he climbs up this hill with this Russian tank destroyer, the SU-12254. Like I said, it's not, a, it's not a tank that I've purchased yet. The auto-aim's on the charioteer. Gets him for 453. But he does get hit by the Waffentrager Alfpanzer 4, so he moves down behind this ridgeline. Wants to try and keep chipping away at these enemy tanks in the town. He's up to nearly 3,000 damage. Looks towards the bottom of the IS-6, takes him. He's down to a one-shot now, that IS-6. The score's 8-2. This side, the western flank, is, is clearly a, uh, a winner. Shoots and kills the charioteer. That's two kills. Now remember, his secondary condition is three kills. He's up to 3,735 hit points of damage. The score is 9-3. Um, three kills and 6,000 damage. That's what he's after. Looks towards the looks towards the Skoda. Auto aims on the Skoda. That looks like it might go through. That's his third kill. So he's already got the secondary condition. Doesn't yet have the 6,000 hit points of damage though. He's on 4,137. So far... His team are capping. Looks like the FE4202 is the only tank capping. Looks like everyone else is coming to try and help clean up the last of the damage in the city. 
Looks like he's moving away the, away from these heavy tanks. He might have... Did he put a shot into the friendly Oho? Not sure. Or maybe he stole the kill. Maybe that's why he's apologising. Looking towards the 112 now. That's a premium Chinese heavy tank. Thought that shot might have been able to go through one of these... Um, brick walls or buildings. The T95, there's plenty of hit points there up for, dra for grabs. He puts a shot into the T9 American heavily armoured tank destroyer. Takes his damage count up to 4,545 hit points of damage. That shot doesn't go anywhere. It's still enough hit points up for grabs, but only just. 12-5 is the score. One tank still capping, and it looks like it's the Patriot. Looking towards the back of that 112. Oh yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. That's his... He's up to just under 5,000 hit points now. Looking towards that uh, 295. 295 challenging to penetrate. At the best of time, looks, looks like the 295 might have just fired. Bounces the shot from the 112, the premium tier 8 Chinese heavy tank. That's 5,219 damage done. Looking at the other 112, puts another shot in for 426 hit points of damage. One more damaging shot might do it if he can get it. And there it is. There's 6,012 hit points of damage. That's his mission done. He wants to stay alive. Doesn't need to stay alive for the secondary condition. Secondary condition is to um, get three kills and he's done that. He's got four kills. Not a bad um, not a bad game there from Lone Dog and he's, he's put that those happy thoughts into the in-game chat. Mission number 15 for the T62A as we have a quick look at the post-game battle results. It's an Ace Tanker Mastery Badge for Lone Dog from Rats Clan. Also the Bruiser Medal, Fighter, Fire for Effect and the High Caliber for doing at least 20%. 6,012 damage done, 4 kills, 1276 base experience. He fired 23 shots in that game, didn't seem like 23 shots. 17 hit, 16 did damage, 6,012 hit points of damage onto the enemy side, four kills, and that's enough for his mission. Mission number 15 in the third set of personal missions for the T-55A, the Tier 9 German medium tank. Tidy Profit 2, just under 25,000 credits with a premium account, and that's, I don't think he needed, he didn't really need any uh, premium rounds, any heat rounds in that replay, but he certainly did, did his job and picked up the last tank destroyer mission for the T-62A. As we look at the second game in this triple shot of Russian tank destroyer action, this one features Heli Gamer 564. Heli Gamer 564 from SBNA clan. He's platooned up with his old mate Nathan Dogs. Nath Dogaz. I guess that's how you say it. And Tommy Lau. And they're all running around in tier nights on Mountain Pass. He's on a mission as well to do 2,000 unspotted damage. I'm not sure if he does that in this Tier 10 game. And this is a tank that I really used to enjoy, the Object 704. The Object 704 is the one that leads to the Object 263, the one with a pike nose on it. And that's a pretty groovy looking tank. It looks a bit like a frog, I always reckon. 152 millimeter gun, 750 average damage, 286 penetration with standard rounds, 329 with APCR. He's moving over here where he's under a little bit of cover, but still able to shoot into these enemy tanks. Is that going to hit? Didn't look like it hit. Didn't quite have enough time to aim there into the WZ111-4 or the T10. A little bit more time now. This looks like a pretty tidy shot. <laughs> you certainly know when you've been hit by that 152 millimeter gun. Now, I'm not sure if he's got six cents. You'd imagine he would at tier nine. I'm not sure if he was spotted when he fired that shot. Maybe he did. Maybe he. Maybe he was unspotted. Remember, he's on a mission to do 2,000 unspotted damage. I reckon that might be for the T28 HTC. One all is the score on Mount Pass. Halley Gamer, 564. Moving around. Look, good map awareness. Lots of tanks pushing this western flank. But look where all the enemy tanks are. And that's what he's that's what he's doing by the looks of things. It looks like he might be heading back to try and um, cut off a bit of a, a bit of a push. From the enemy team, I'll just speed it up here because it's got a, he's got a he's got a fair way to go. 
to all is the score. Lots of uh, pinging on the map as we fast forward this replay. WZ111-4 and the T49 go down, but they lose their Type 5 Heavy type at Tier 10. Gets a beautiful shot into the IS-4. Takes him down to 859 hit points. Someone else shooting him. He's down to 445. One more shot. Should get rid of the IS-4. And have a look at all these tanks that are coming up this eastern flank. Ali up on 1,428 hit points of damage. Tommy Lau's picked up a kill. That was the enemy T-49. He'd love to get a shot into the side of that IS-4. It'd only be 72 hit points, but it'd be a tier 10 tank out of the game. He does cop a shot from the T-57 Heavy, the auto-loading tier 10 American Heavy tank. But he puts a shot into his turret, takes him down to 1,121 hit points, and maybe that T-54 might be on the reload because he is um, he is pulling right back. It's not um, maybe that shot that he put into Halley Gamers Object 704. Maybe that was a... Um, his last shell. Halley Gamer picks up his first kill of the game, gets rid of the E-100. Now looking at those tanks there, that Conqueror. Shouldn't be too hard to penetrate the Conqueror, especially from behind. So he auto-aims, just wants to just get over and shoot without falling down. No, don't fall down, man. Takes two shots from the T-57 Heavy. He did set that Conqueror on fire. That looks like he might have an automatic fire extinguisher. It's not going to matter. Somebody else is uh, shooting towards him. Tommy Lau picks up his second kill, getting rid of the Tier 9 British tank destroyer. Now Halley Gamer needs to be a bit careful here. He's only on 392 hit points. He's picked up nearly 4,000 damage though. Certainly doing his job and he thinks another 750 damage into that Type 4 Heavy. The Japanese Heavy tank. Now he's not aiming towards him. He's saying, come on gun, reload. Chooses to aim at the T-57 Heavy, hoping for another kill, and he gets it. And, of course, the Dark Fire in the Fock picks up the kill on that Type 4 Heavy. They've won that skirmish on the eastern side of the map. He's up to 5,411 hit points, and I know exactly what Halley Game is thinking. He's thinking, I reckon I've already done enough to send this in to World of Tanks with Stewie JP at Get On Board Studios in sunny Melbourne. Can be thirsty work doing this. Unfortunately, Tommy Lauer, after picking up his two kills in the Stripswagen 103-0, got taken out. Nath Dog just goes down to the enemy WZ111-4 in his Centurion 7-1. All of a sudden, we're looking at a situation where it was looking like an easy win, but now, all of a sudden, they're only up by one tank. You see, that now there are two more tanks go down, one from each side, so they're still up by one tank. Now that Conqueror looks like he's in a bit of trouble. He's only on 653 health. That object 263, or the Fock, could certainly take him down to not too much at all. Early Gamer moving through the central part of Mountain Pass now, sticking with the T-57 Heavy. Wants to just back up the T-10 American auto-loading heavy tank. And they're going up there. Looks like the last three enemy tanks, they were all spotted over here at C4. The Object 263, the E50 coming down to play with the Conqueror now. Of course, the Conqueror can afford to take a shot from that E50, but he needs to get rid of that German medium tank. Is the German medium tank going to push down towards Halley Gamer? Not really sure. The Conqueror, maybe the Conqueror fired and missed, or maybe fired and bounced that T9 German Heavily armoured medium tank, it must be said. The Object 3, Object 263 is still spotted on the bridge. And that E50 puts a shot into the T57. That T57, he's clearly still looking at the T57. Went for the auto aim for the kill, but the T57 did its job. Got one shot, I think, from the E50. And then sent the T9 medium back to the garage. That Fock hasn't been spotted for a long time. And it's not the slowest tank destroyer in this game, that's for sure. He could be absolutely anywhere. It could be up here with the 263. The mouse is on pretty low health. There's the Fock on the other side of the map. That's very interesting. 263 just got the shot from the mouse by the looks of it. 263 also got rid of the mouse. And does Halley Gamer have the back of the heavily armoured? No, he doesn't. Turned around pretty quickly. Halley Gamer keeping vision on this tier 10 Russian tank destroyer. He's only on 392 hit points. Now that object 263 probably does 700 or 800 damage. I'm guessing it's not a tank I have. Uh, he's pinging for help. He needs a hand here. 
Looks like the T57 and the Conqueror are busy dealing with that Fock. That Fock down to 300 health. The T57 picks up the kill. That T57 auto-loading American T10 heavy tank must be on the reload now. And uh, it looks like he's coming back to um, back up or go for the cap. Not too sure. The only game up spots the... Um, Spots the Object 263, doesn't waste his time shooting at the heavily armoured front of the tank destroyer. He's just going to sit here, keep vision on this tank, and uh, when the T-57 starts capping, which he is now, that's not going to give that Object 263 a choice. He's going to have to come out to play. And Halley Gamer gets a great shot, 660 damage into the side of that um, Object 263, and looks like the Object 263 not interested in the cap. Looks like he's going for the Conqueror. So, Heli Gamer 564 from SBNA clan coming around to try and round him up. And good map awareness from Heli Gamer. Object 263 clearly going for the light, the armored Conqueror, or light, light compared to the mouse that was there before. The Conqueror's a one shot. Heli Gamer will be hoping that this 263 is aiming towards the Conqueror and presenting the back of the of the tank destroyer to Heli Gamer. There it is. Wait, plenty of time to aim. Thank you very much. That's his third kill. 6,390 damage. Good game, plebs. Not sure that was necessary, Heli Gamer. It was an ace tank up. Well played, Heli Gamer. 564 from SBNA clan. Um, and of course, he is having a ripper in that one. A high caliber. So he got the top score. Five for effect, bruiser. And the ace tanker, he had plenty to do with the death of a lot of those tanks. 6,390 damage, 3 kills, 1,456 base experience. Only fired 11 shot, 9 hit, and they all did damage. 6,390. Thank you very much. Made a profit too. He had that, got the 10 gold for the... You can do that 3 times a day if you're in the top... Top 3 or top 5 of a winning side. 15,000 credits after tax. Would have been nearly 39 with a premium account. But not a bad Ace Tanker Mastery Badge. In the Object 704, the Tier 9 Russian Tank Destroyer. The one that I used to have. The one that leads to the 263. Now, this is a bonus game. We are... Oh, got This is a bit of a last minute addition from Heli Gamer in the... Heli Gamer 564 this time. Is it a Tier 7 Tank Destroyer? The SU-100 M1. Which is, oh, it's a funny, look, funniest looking tank I've ever seen in my life. Have a look at it. Rear turreted, 100 mil gun, 250 damage, 183 penetration with standard rounds, 235 with APCR. He's got no APCR loaded. He's got some heat rounds, which will do a little bit more damage for a lot less pen, 330 for 50 penetration. And um, Ellie Gamer on Fiery Salient. It's going down to where the TDs normally do their business. You can see he is. Um, in some bushes there. Got uh, probably got a good camo crew just sitting back in the bushes waiting to snipe. It's a tier nine game, three tier nines on each side in this battle, so he needs to be respectful of that. T54 lightweight, one of the enemy T9s. Goes down to Swampy Pants in the AMX 1390. I never cease to be amused by some of the in-game names. That I see in World of Tanks, and if you look carefully, you can see the FV4202 in this game. He was that's Lone Dog from Rats Clan. He was in the first video of this um, first replay of this video. Puts a shot into the Bulldog for 300 hit points. Yeah, you can see me, old mate Lone Dog, over there. Look at there he is over there, getting some good vision in the middle of the map, waiting to. Find out where these enemy tanks are and put a bit of pain into them. Lone Dog from Rats Clan. There you go. 2 1 the score. Now the Comet goes down to KB3. Hello, Gamer. Looks like he might be auto aim on that T341. Shoots him and kills him by fire, set him on fire and got rid of the tier 7 Chinese medium tank. Moving forward, good to see a tank destroyer not just sitting back here and waiting for everyone else to do things. Good to see him start move forward. He knows how far forward he can go without getting spotted. Puts a shot into the low, he wants to be chipping away at that low. He started with uh, 1650 hit points, that premium German heavy tank, so it's going to take a few shots to get rid of him. 
Alley Gamer 564 from SBN. There's the KV3. Looks like the KV3 is back at spawn. Has he loaded into the game? I, I think he has, but the KV3 is still on that... Um, KV3 still on the cap circle. KV3, one of the KV... Oh, no, the KV3's clearly playing because one's... They've both got kills, so they the KV3 on the enemy side. They both got killed, so they are playing. Ali Gamer just got spotted there. I don't think I saw Six Sense go off, but uh, somebody set him on fire. Lucky his fire extinguisher fired up. Looks like he's stopped there, and looks like he's a... Puts a blind shot towards where the low is. Now that low... Yeah, his turret's moving. Chipping away at the German premium heavy tank. Now that's... That shot wasn't quite aimed properly. P Victoria picks up the kill on the low. 5 3 the score now on Fiery Salient. He's on a mission here to kill somebody who's a tier higher than you. Let's see if he gets it. He killed the T 34 1, which is tier 7. Let's see if he can kill someone who's a tier higher than me. His mission is to do 2,000 damage. Secondary condition is win and primary condition is destroy destroy a heavy tank that's a tier higher than him. So we would have loved to kill the low. The only one left is the IS-3 if he's going to get that mission. Picks up the kill on the KV-3. That might be the same bloke who set him on fire. I'm not too sure. There's Lone Dog over there. Pretty low health, so he's going to have to be a little bit careful. Early game out looking for opportunities here. The IS-3 is still in play, so the mission is still up for grabs. But it looks like that. It looks like the IS-3 is all the way over there. So I don't think the mission is going to be doable in this game. A lot of map ping going on, which is often what happens in World of Tanks. 8-6 the score now. There you go. There's that KV-3. That'll be nice. Thank you very much. That's Halley Gamer's third kill for this game. He's up to 16-29 damage. 10-7 is the score. He wants to know where that spick is before he starts moving forward, which is the right thing to do. Shoots and kills the spick. That's kill number four for Halley Gamer. Nearly 1,800 damage done. Not counting uh, there was some blind shots fight. So he might... Uh, can he pick up the kill on the FV-8? 3805. Don't know if he will. Now the Amex 1390 gets rid of the British artillery piece. There's the what's it called? The Indian Panzer at tier eight. Early gamer puts a shot into him. He's not turning his gun his way, so he knows he's probably not spotted. I'm not sure. I've got a feeling he hasn't got six sets, unless I miss missed the obvious and saw it go off earlier. Now Heli gamer is thinking. There's an IS-3 over there. If I can pick up the kill on this IS-3, he's done his 2,000 damage. If he can pick up the kill on this IS-3, he's in for a chance of getting this mission. I think it aiming between the... Um, between the houses, possibly. Which way is he going to go? He needs to be careful of that Indian Panzer. Now he's clearly... He'll, yeah, it looks like he doesn't have six cents. He was would have clearly been spotted, proxy spotted by that Indian Panzer there. Sounds like artillery fired not too close. Or maybe a high explosive round. Just three enemy tanks left of the rain. 155 50 at T7. That's a T7 uh, SPG. Halley Gamer moving all the way up to A6 here. So um to make something happen for his team. Lone Dog goes down to the IS-3, who was last spotted on the hill. And here we go. Wants to get rid of that Indian Panzer. Puts him for 279. Of course, it's a good quick reload on this tier 7 gun. Takes him down. Sets him on fire again. Automatic fire extinguisher by the looks of it. And artillery picks up the kill. Lorraine 155 drowns himself, which is, is an absolute weak act. The IS-3 clearly knows he's been spotted. Now what's his gun do? His gun does 250. He wants to... Um, he'd love to pick up the kill on this IS-3 to pick up his mission. Let's see how he does. He's on four kills, 2,603 damage. And, of course, he needs to do 1,000 damage. No, the P Victoria picks up the kill. And um, this thinks maybe he's just going to wash the tank. 
in preparation for another good game. So there you go, three battles featuring some Russian tank destroyers. That last one, Halley Gamer 564 from SPN. A Clan, he's got an ace tanker for that one. Bruise up, arsonist. Fight up, fire for effect. He had an absolute pearler. 3,366 damage, 4 kills, 1149 base experience, 23 shots fired, 17 hit, 14 went through. It was all sniped, but he's in a bit of a snipey tank in a tier 9 battle, the tier 7 um, Russian tank destroyer. He got the 10 gold for finishing in the top 5. 24,000 credits after tax with a premium account. That's how you do it. The SU100. M1 at tier 7. So three very different replays, three pretty good ones featuring Lone Dog and Heli Gamer in the uh, in the Russian tank destroyers. Thanks for the replays lads. Thanks for watching everyone. Take care and see you all next time.